Yuri Gagarin was the first uh, human being to travel in space. That was an, uh, an accomplishment that is not uh, nationalistic. It is not the province of one country. It is a, a, a step forward for mankind. And having a night that celebrates uh, that accomplishment um, is something that we can all rally around. It, is, it says to us that um, we can do things that we can't do now. We can achieve experiences and adventure that are not within our present province. But we have a much more pragmatic reason for going into space. We're in trouble here. We're dealing with a problem with climate change. We're dealing with a, with a world where we have not achieved that uniformity and that, that harmony and that sense of being that we can all get together. Our world is in jeopardy from ourselves, and we need to, uh, to consider what the consequences of that may be. And so the time may come, and I believe it will, that we will need to find other places to go. Earth will no longer be habitable. Uh, I know that sounds crazy and far out and something you say on a soapbox, but I'm, I'm, I am concerned as a person already uh, having reached my 80th year, that um, our future does not, is, our future here is not as rosy as uh, when uh, Gene Roddenberry wrote a, a Star Trek and assumed that uh, by the time Star Trek was a, was a reality, uh, we'd have solved the problems that we have on Earth. It's something we should all get behind and support. Uh, and I think that, that's why there's so many people who now celebrate Yuri Gagarin's uh, accomplishment. They have Yuri's night. And uh, I'm going to be there. I'm going to help celebrate. And I see that as the better part of mankind, that we have uh, somebody who has, has, has this extraordinary accomplishment to his credit and something that we can t all take pride in.